Hello there, I'm Aldra Hill, and welcome to some Hearts of Iron 4 playing Byzantium in Battle for the Bosporus. Now, I decided to skip all the boring stuff for you and just form the Byzantine Empire. I formed an edited video that formed the first episode of this series. I hopefully remember to put a link in the description. Uh, it wasn't a very popular video on my channel, but I thought I might continue this series anyway right here. It is 1939, 27th of September. We are actually on historical focuses, I think. And what's happening right now is Germany has just declared war on Poland, and we have conquered Turkey. It was a really fun war, so if you want to watch that episode, you def uh, like the remnants of that, you should definitely go and take a look at the first episode, which is like an edited down video. But now, we can go about doing the rest of the glorious things. We are led by George Mercurius. We're doing the Baddock Bone of the Army focus street right now. And my goal at present is to, once I finish with that one, and fix my economy just a touch, I'm going to be heading west. <laughs> sneezing right on camera of course i am and then i just have four focuses to finish um and i then will be able to do restore the byzantium decisions which will be absolutely awesome now my hope here is that oh yeah we need to default on our debt that's going to be awesome is that there's a number of really cool things that we can do democracy on the rise yeah that's not that's not going to happen homeboy homeboy um and i don't really want to do that that's really weird Gains cores in all western Turkish coastal states. Gains cores on Cyprus. Oh my god. Do I not have cores there now? No, I have cores. These are all cores. Awesome. So we are hugely powerful right now. Uh, we are obviously trying to repair everything. And we also do have a lot of factories. And at the present, our armies are consisting of a pretty basic 18 division infantry. I didn't have a lot of experience at the start. A crappy mountain division, some cavalry... And then I also have a heavy tanks divisions. So I'm going to start making... Well, do I actually need motorized? I mean... Do they need motorized? Because they're kind of garbage. You know? Like, if I just replaced all of these guys... Oh, you know what? I don't even have motorized yet. That would be something to get pretty soon. But means we can start to work on some planes, which would be really good. We do have quite a lot of fighters. We're not actually in any kind of deficit, but more equipment is always good. Um, for my actual divisions, I don't really need much artillery, but I would like to try and chuck at least some artillery around. I'm trying to decide if I want to... I think I just need a lot of planes. This is the problem. I'm, I'm going to keep focusing on the fighters that I've got. Or the few that I do have. I don't really need any more tanks. Because while more tank divisions are... Well, I guess I'll get one more. And I think a few more fighters wouldn't go amiss. And a bit more infantry equipment. Now, obviously, the one thing we're really lacking is steel. Though we have a huge ton of chromium. So more instances that we can start to invade people would be good. Places like Yugoslavia. We are still currently at war with the Ukraine. Uh, and they do have a number of divisions. And in fact, we can get access to them. Ooh. Hello. Ukraine. Sorry, the Bulgaria can get access. But the Romanians want to die, it seems. So we do have a small army. We have a kind of main offensive army over here. I got seven infantry here and just one forming a garrison. So let's... Let's just try and make a bit of a garrison here, because I definitely do have a concern that what might happen is we get invaded. And if that did happen, I'd be very upset. Okay. All right, there we go. That's going to have to do. Right. Now, we actually don't have a lot of divisions, so just in case, let's get our boys ready. The Italians could attack us, yes. So I think it might be within our best interest to start cram- So, oh my goodness, look at that infantry equipment we have. So I think we do need to start cramming out a lot of boys. Like, a lot of boys. So let's just get 10 divisions rolling up. Uh, let's do 15. And what we're going to do, I, I really do want to add, like, replace one of them with an artillery and go the standard 7-2. But unfortunately, we just don't have the artillery for that. So instead, I am just going to crank out an extra infantry equipment. 
I think that's probably going to be better. It's going to make my soldiers a little bit better. Uh, and this is going to make us use light tanks, but I don't have light tanks. So there we go. Right. That's going to make us a little bit stronger. Our manpower is still coming up as well. And so this is the problem is we do need a lot of economy. We have just finished this, which is great. And that gives us 0.2% of uh, manpower, which is awesome. Now, I could go down into the unlock the country schemes. There's also support and get four monopolies. And there's a lot of really... To be honest, yeah, I don't think I can go down the route of, exp of, of expansion. Because my economy and army is... It's just crap. Not, it's not good. So here we go. We can get a 100% research bonus for motorized if I did this. As well as light tank models. But I think really... I mean, I can just build more motorized later. It's not a priority for me. There's research speed, daily power game. I don't know what the investment decisions are, but I think it could be useful. Distance of industrialization. Investment schemes. I don't know what this does. Long be independent of the capital industry. Let's invite the capital investments into Greece today, because tomorrow we will never need we'll need them. We will never need them again. Okay. Um, am I monarchists? What am I? No, we're actually we've gotten fascists. Gone on this route. Cooperate with foreign monopolies would replace... It would give us a little bit of consumer goods and research speed. Pretty good. Economy laws and trade laws. And then Academy of Athens for an extra research slot. The Academy of Athens for the research slot does sound very good. And the free air base as well. I don't know, dude. There's just so much I really want to get. Research speed, political power gain. Oh my god. Consumer goods and research speed is so valuable. I want to see what this investment decisions do, does. Let's see if that how that goes for us. We're in extensive right now. And we are still at war with Romania. And so if we could take Romania, I think we'd be in a really, really good position. But I don't know. Oh my god, Poland's already capitulated. So I don't know how I get to Romania, right? I think one thing we're going to need to do, we're going to need to create an agency. All right, there goes the rest of the war. E at Kedi. No, we're going to call them the Hellenic. No, what do they call The Venagerian Guard. I'm definitely, I spelled that wrong. And we'll use like a, a tower. That seems cool. The agency's being formed, and we're trying to cram out a lot of extra uh, extra mill factories much as we are able. They have that. I'm definitely concerned about Italy, I will admit. If they if they were to declare war on me, I'm I'm not sure how well that would go. Um what am I short of? I am short of 6.2 thousand infantry equipment. Oh my god. Oh, that's a lot. But our industry is growing every day. Let's reduce the fighters we've got. And we really do need steel. Oil would be good too. So to be honest, if we could get that, I would not mind it at all. See how that goes. Liquid Hot Shops just subscribed to Tier 1 for 12 months, one year. Oh my goodness. You can even that's an idea. Well, I got no ships. Look at this. Yeah, we should look at this. Fish, fish. Nice. I really do appreciate you choosing to give me that sub, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Lovely to have you here. So I do have enough uh, tanks to build one tank division, which is great. Um, so I think I think I just need to do this. Yeah. Okay. I think I think trying to get them would be good. Great to be here. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think invading Bulgaria would be really good. Unfortunately, they are in the Axis, so that sucks. Let's up, Levishort. How's it going, buddy? So I really do need to just uh, be building a lot of infantry equipment divisions. And I think, yeah, as many of these as I can get, honestly. Yeah. Let's just keep going with this. Infrastructure is being repaired. 
but until I have sufficient divisions to survive, I don't know what I'm going to do. I still, I, I do have 741,000 manpower, though, which is really, really good. Um, sadly, I could be getting more, oh my god, 23 steel. Okay, so I really do need to do this. There's a couple steel things I need. More civilian factories than 14 can be used for projects. Ah, I need one more civilian factory. Damn. I have so much chromium. There's the Soviet Union war. Okay. Finland rejects the, the deal. Okay, so I could do that now. And that would get me... Yes, the problem is obviously a lot of my factories are being used, but I think it would be worth it to get the steel. Get 12 steel. It's only 45 days as well, which is really good. Uh, we could do some war propaganda. Try and get more. We've already actually got Max Wars apart. He donated 3 try. Hello! I don't know what 3 try means. But welcome, my friend. I like Greece never had this tank model. Well, Greece never had tanks. I know, yeah. I've got this awesome tank model. I love it. Beautiful heavy tanks. Um, and I want to try and stay up to date with my heavy tanks, but obviously it networks on 41. And that's basically what we're going to be doing, is just having tanks. Only got one. Oh, the Turkish Lira. Does it... Did that mean you actually donated three Turkish Lira? Oh, because it's like nothing, right? <laughs> I get it. Okay. So we're doing really well. I mean, we just have to basically build as many troops as we can physically do. And I think maybe trying to get rid of the sheer quantity of civilian factories. Yeah. Because right now... Yeah. Because our consumer goods is pretty high, right? Yeah. We do. Take a look. So debt to the IFC is 5%. Foreign monopolies is 5%, so I could get rid of that. 5% is something. Let's see what investment schemes does. Uh, okay, here we go. This would give us... Oh my god. Shot plan. Yeah. I don't have shot plan. I don't, I don't have that. That is not a thing that I own. I am confused. Confused and scared. So I could start going down motorized, but seriously, I don't think that's... It's not necessary right now. I have enough doctrines being worked on. I'm actually already doing doctrines, which is great. Um, do I make any oil at all? I make literally zero oil. Current consumption. Yeah, okay. Oh, no, daily gain. Because I have a little bit from refineries. If I can get Romania, that could be really good. Fuel gain from oil and fuel gain from refineries. Oh my god, it's 210 days. Let's go for conversion speed bonuses. Game in Greece has to involve debt. Like zero, fair enough. Rocket trucks, rocket trucks. Always the rocket trucks. You gotta get rocket trucks. He's still pretty low on the whole steel front, but we don't need it just yet. And we've almost dealt with our with our deficit. Great. And we're building as many tanks as we can. We only actually need 120 to get where we need to go. Yeah, it's definitely slowing me down. I'm going to get one steel. I don't want to use too many factories. This is the problem. Oh my god, it's still so much of a deficit. Yeah. Right, that way I, I am actually I'm going to be approaching one a week. Not the worst. It does give you some of the best stuff. Oh, sorry. No, I'm not proper fascist. My bad. I'm not fascist. My bad. No, no. I am monarchist. Live a short. I'm so sorry. I am monarchist and then down the double-haired eagle. I'm so sorry. But that does still give you a fascist ruling, which is really weird. I don't really... It's a bit odd. I also have a lot of political power. But not a ton of stuff to spend it on. Not really. A little bit of training time. 
sharp-tongued lawyer. I could do military industrialist. Let's get that. Um, yeah, let's start rolling out better equipment. And yeah, better better everything really as much as we can. Better artillery as well. I like the audio is like really quiet. Okay, so we do have an operative we should be recruiting right now. Counterintelligence and a seducer. Tough escape artist and commando. Enemy operative intel extraction rate. Cool. Ah, oh, cool. Patrick Lay Firmer. Nice. Okay. You can use one factories and you need five. The hell? Oh, because I'm still using them for the thing, of course. Oh, there's a speech playing, isn't there? Okay, investment schemes. Decades of economic mismanagement of our past administration and rampant abuse by foreign powers left a country destitute uh, of a strong industrial foundation. Um... The sad reality of the situation is that in order to achieve our highest potential, you might have to ask for the assistance of some of those Asian countries that have left this position. Invite entrepreneurs for investment talks. Right. Okay. Rebuke investment. By ending our financial relationship, we will be walking away with any debts owned to them. I see. Well, the French don't exist. So, let's see what happens. I understand what that does, but okay. So we can't do that one because we have oh, because we haven't got shed plan. This would get trade manufactured ship parts for investment, and act docking rights, and then renegotiate our debt with France and avoids any debt to the IFC maintained by Free France. That could actually be very useful. Trade manufactured ship parts for investment. Bribe. I still don't understand what the debt is for, so okay. This will give them docking rights. Liver Short, thank you very much for the follow, buddy, and welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for choosing to leave, leave, leave me that follow. Thank you for forgiving me for my weird stammer just then. Your monarchist fascist king is like nothing. It is like the thing which happened Nicholas, a Russian resurrection revolution. Okay, that's weird, bro. There is also an absolute ton of mines here. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm considerably nervous about the fact that there's a lot of soldiers here. I almost do want to, like, attack them to see what happens. I really do. Ah, oh, man, I'm so nervous about this if I, if I screw it up, but... Let me, let me, let's wait for the next lot of troops to arrive, which is in February. And then maybe we can fight Romania. And that way we could actually have a solid mass of soldiers to, to push them with. You know, that could be cool. Okay. Let's do it. Once again, insufficient resources, of course. I swear there's like a still a speech, like the back of my ear. Yeah, their finest hour. Shut up. Well, Gary looking thick. Uh, it's not too big, Odin. Not too thick. I can, they're not too thicky sticky. I should be able to punch him in the nuts a little bit. Ooh, Hellenic Academy battle plans. What? They decide not to invest. What? Okay, I guess you, you gave me my stuff back. What do I care about the debt? I just don't... Oh, wait. Oh, because if I have the debt, it's consumer goods factories, isn't it? Alright, well, screw you then. 
Well, let me... Let's finish the docking rights thing first, and then see what happens. The fall of Cairo. Oh my god. Uh, already, UK? The f you've been naval invaded, and you've already lost? If Romania joins the Axis, you will be at war with them. That is possible, yes. That happens, I lose the game. <laughs> and that's in the episode, guys. I hope, you do, you do, I hope you do like this beginning of this new series. Please let me know what you think about it. I'd love to hear your comments below. And of course, do make sure you leave a like and a comment below as well. I was Aldron, continue to be, and I hope you do sub to my channel if you want to see more. Bye-bye.